Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be fishing on the lake. It's been um, pretty nice on and off. It's kind of been weird weather going into spring. Um, it's been like, it's had days where it's like 60, 70 degrees and we had days where it's like 50, maybe 40 degrees. Yeah. Um, but today we're going to be fishing because it finally uh, was like actually pretty good and they opened up the other half of the lake because for some reason through like October I think it's like 14th or something like that to like uh, March 1st or something like that they walk, walk off like half the lake so you can't get to the other side but uh today we're gonna see how well it goes I hope you guys like this video because it's I was trying to think of any some videos to do I might have some in the works but Right now is kind of what I came up with is to go fishing a little bit. Hopefully this audio turns out really good because it's really windy. Because in our state it is not very calm. We always get like 30 or 45 mile an hour winds. I'm going to put you guys in the clip because I've got a little chest mount. So let's see if we catch anything. not as windy is where like a lot of people are at so uh, it's kind of hard to do that because I don't want to be like some of the influencers nowadays where they'll get in people's faces and shove cameras and be annoying so I'm gonna try and get as far away as I can from people so I don't mess up any of their fishing so it's only my fishing that's getting messed up um let's see if we can get anything this lake is isn't really all that great to fish in. It's definitely questionable because it's really mossy. I don't know if you can see it down there. It's pretty dang mossy on the edges and it's not very deep, I don't think. I think the, what I looked up on our lake, because I didn't know how deep it was, it's like 10 feet deep. So I'm like five, seven, so I could basically push, basically follow the bottom and push up and it's only two of me. So not like crazy deep camera work good because that is going to be real annoying if this camera work is not good we gotta check on some stuff here yep i always i'm gonna start checking some videos hopefully it's a little better you guys have been blowing up some videos so thank you very much for that keep that keep that work up hopefully can you guys help me get to uh 500 subs that would be amazing because then i can do even better videos Subs and likes you guys leave the better and better hopefully the videos get now there might be some uh, crummy ones in the uh, batch of better and better videos but that's how just about any youtuber has one is where they have really good ones build up and then all of a sudden they uh man this weight is or this lure is really heavy it's sinking the bar. yeah they might have a Oh, it got tangled up, didn't it? Yeah. For some reason, this fishing pole just likes to get a little tangled at that end part, and so you have to every, like, three or four casts go out there and reach out there and untangle it, which is and isn't annoying. We might move down just a little bit, because there's a little, like, uh, where I'm standing right now is a dam for a uh, lake, so it holds back all the water stuff. So we're going to go where it kind of overflows. And we're just gonna bring all of our stuff down here and see if we hook anything while we're going. Let's see, this is really steep. You guys probably can't tell. Well, actually maybe, hopefully this can tell. But uh, yeah, it's really deep, or not steep, sorry, steep. It's been a little while since I've made this, so it, my English has been questionable. Oh yeah, I don't think there's anything on there, but this weight and pushing on, holding this bob, pulling this bobber and this hook, hook, you can definitely tell there's a weight that's definitely dragging through the water. I don't know why this hook is so heavy. It's not like uh, leaded, I don't think. Like, 
got too much weight to it. Because all it's got is a little uh, scented blur. Not like a worm or anything. Dang. Alright. I guess it just decided to fling. There. See? It got stuck again. It starts to make that grunt. That little sound that you're hearing from my lure. Right here. That sound. That starts to make that, I think, when it starts to get tension. So we're going to see what we can do here. Add some more here just because it's a little... Here's that little overflow. I'm not gonna fish right in front of it because I don't, I wouldn't think that fish would be trying to test it unless they're like Nemo, where you gotta touch the boat. But uh, yeah, let's see if you can catch it. I would definitely say if you're on like a bigger lake, cause I think I've got like this lake is like the closest. It's really close to my house. But uh, there is some wind they will get good gusts like this but i would definitely suggest a boat because then you can get to places that nobody else can and so those fish are always fish will always go hopefully to those spots and because they've never been caught or got caught last because they're over in that spot that nobody wants to go to and it's kind of annoying to get to man this wind you gotta be joking is it always windy there's a lure that I had in my box that uh was definitely questionable because it's a little shaker a little crankbait i believe is what it's called and uh it's either it's like an unlucky bait in, in my opinion at least for me oh got caught stopped wanting to rotate uh let's see Did that fix the problem there i was wondering why it got stuck came off I was over on that side Let's see if I can get you guys a better camera view on that side fishing and that's where it's a little less windy so I didn't record because a lot of people were over there there's like seven or eight people and like the 10 yards of area that you could fish over there but uh yeah it is that's where I lost it, it literally I tied that thing down and I made sure I threw it out there and the thing came off and so luckily I got it back because it floated over to a little grassy area that I was going to go to next and the people that were there moved to a different spot so I walked over there and he just sat there right on the bank he was just waiting for me apparently man if you guys know a better rod and reel to use let me know because this stinking pole does not like to stay in one piece I've had it multiple times where it just wants to come apart okay why does it keep stopping like it it just feels like I'm going to break it if I pull it see. There we go. Let's see if this bait. I would use a couple different baits, but you know, it's kind of annoying to use those baits, so we're not going to do that. Okay. Let's see, you guys think I should... This might become a 20 minute video, but uh, yeah, hopefully this video turns out pretty good. Um, yeah. I know you guys probably like to see our camera shots but uh one man crew you can only do so much with cameras i would have a uh, gopro this is just my uh cam camera i would have a gopro but uh those things are annoying to deal with because you gotta get certain things to make sure it all works yeah i'm good i'd rather just take the simple way oh there we go mm -hmm. I get a little shake Hopefully that'd help, because hopefully it shaking back and forth will make it when I get, because I made sure it little does a little wiggle in the water, so then it acts like it's getting, like it's an actual fish, because it is, I don't know what the name of the lure is called, all I know is it's a little hook with like little eyes to act like it look like a, to look like a fish, man, English over here, I figure that out. But then you put like little baits like what I have on it that have little tails basically, essentially, when you put through it. So it acts like a fish. So hopefully that scent that's on that hook and the eyes and everything else attract it. Man. Alright. I don't know if you guys can see the orange. This might not be the best. But uh yeah. Hopefully this yeah.
hopefully this camera work turned out good. There's somebody. Like, I mean, there's people here, over here. There's like 12 people down on that end. Cause that's, don't know if that's really good in. Cause I fish there a lot, I haven't caught anything. Then you also got like 12 people along the wall here. Plus a dude on the boat over here. Which honestly, I think that's a smarter idea. Bring a boat out here so you can get out in the deeper water more than like seven or eight feet. Actually, mine probably went like 12 feet. Well, here comes somebody else. Man, it's packed today. I guess when they finally opened it, everybody was like, oh, we gotta go to the good spots that nobody's been to. And there we go. Bring it back. If you guys have any lures or anything else I should try, let me know in the comments. Um, hopefully the comments work this time. I've had a couple problems with the comments for some reason not working, which I do not understand to be real honest. Don't know why the comments won't work. I've tried to get it to where they do work and they just will not turn on. So hopefully when this video comes out, they have comments so you guys can give me some clues or not clues, some ideas of what to use. We're gonna leave that tackle box. So I don't think anybody else, it's pretty easy to tell if anybody comes because you can see them walk walk from all the way from where those vehicles are at i don't know if you can see that all the way along up across this bank it's pretty easy to tell because you always see them like i feel like that did not come out great that's gonna be oh it actually oh dang let's go this was like a couple or last week i believe last weekend when i was fishing around here this was just over here overflowing See if I can get there. You go. But like this was just over here. It was like a stinking uh, tsunami come over the edge. But now it's just barely under there. You definitely know it's. Uh, I definitely haven't got a lot of water if that thing isn't moving. Because usually it does move. I guess it wasn't really that overflow. I think it was just the wind I had. Let's get away from this tree. There's a little tree right here. somebody i don't know who the heck that is don't know if you guys can see it there you go get level it's right there there's a white truck right there i don't know what they're going for the way to get into it, it's like right over here right where this uh other concrete stuff is that's the way to get in here so i don't know what why they park so far back maybe they've got a lot of people coming come fish so they don't want to take up like a 12 mile road Slick over here. I'm about sliding. He might have to. Ha oh, there's a game warden. Never mind. It was a game warden, baby. Haven't had any uh, confrontations with them yet. Hopefully, I don't ever have to deal with them. But as of right now, they're cool guys and girls. I definitely. I didn't. I don't know why they wouldn't come out here during the colder times, just a little bit, like in the weekends when it's like nice and warm, like I was saying earlier. Because if I was a game warden, I'd be like, oh yeah, ple plenty of people are gonna come out here in those same spots that most people go to anyways. To, uh, oh, well, not be well, come out to these people, make sure they got a fishing license. Man. I think we only have, what, one game warden? We have more. Oh. Oh. Is he stopping? Is he stopping? Is he stopping? I think he is. Uh, I, I should be good. Oh, yeah. He definitely stopped. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Got him. Gotta go check on him. That's the first time I think I've ever really seen a game more. Just cruising around the lake. They were kind of cruising around here uh, during the because this winter, if you guys anywhere really have known it's been cold, they got like negative 15 in the 10s for here for a while, which is really cold. We only get like 20s, maybe negative like twos. But yeah, this thing for like a good week when we had like seven degree weather was still like a good inch of ice. And they were just sitting out here 
hooked up over that building, making sure everything's, make sure to lay on that ice, because they start getting real thin, everybody started ice fishing, so. Everybody freaking doing stuff. That's the reason I like uh, private waters. Is because you can kind of not have to worry about anybody unless you let anybody on your land fish. See, and you also know where everything's good at. And fish don't, if you don't want to, don't really learn to like I guarantee every fish in here do does that they know how to uh, miss the hooks and not hook on like the dumber fish and more uh, I'm trying to think more, uh, where less people fish hey this is, this is gonna be the most like janky video I tell you what it's like what 1240 oh Oh, let's see if this man, oh, is he going to turn around? Let me see if he's going to turn around. Is he going to go? Yeah, I think he is. Is he? Oh, no, all right. He's just going to go fish, oh, yeah, he's going to go fish over here, I guess. Now, I'm trying to protect this camera so you actually can pick up what I'm saying. Because I really don't want to be screaming on the top of my stinking lungs. Uh, That'd be really weird to hear somebody start yelling on the lake for like a good 10, 20 minutes. I definitely think the cops just get a little closer. Oh, that was bad. That was a bad cast. There you go. Yeah, backing it up. Backing it up. Uh, we're gonna. I guarantee that game warren's gonna come over here. Warmer weather is definitely the way to go if you want to fish. So 17 minutes, all right. Yeah, I'm making check in the camera because, to be real honest, I don't want to do like 30 minutes of fishing and figure out that it wasn't recording or if it was recording, it was terrible. So, yeah. Oh, that drag, I'm pretty sure, and that weight on there is definitely. Yeah, can you see how far my thing is bending? Rod bending. It is definitely got some weight from my bobber and my hook and stuff. Just gotta keep up to the water. Because they'll come up and then they'll sink back down once that weight can get up. Grab up. Get some weight going to it. But, oh. Game okay, Warren's leaving him alone. Let's see if he comes back for these people that parked in this, I think, SUV over here. I like guarantee he might come back. He's probably gonna come back. He's gonna see him and like, hey, you gotta make sure these people are good. They're definitely, uh, I definitely prefer, I think, sheriffs and uh, game wardens over police. Police have to deal with a lot of like, more annoying people. Couple sheriffs, at least uh, most of our sheriffs are super cool. And our, I think our game wardens, I'll talk to a couple game wardens that come to our school and uh yeah pretty cool none of them are really like don't seem like they've got an attitude like some bigger city cops do not not trashing on the cops just saying i prefer our sheriffs way more there we go man just nothing oh he's cut he's moving he is cooking it to the other side to make sure nobody gets away Definitely going like 30 miles an hour from where that white vehicle is all the way over there. Oh, they're just all hanging out over here. 
got what one two three guys i think three guys this most janky camera work like three or four guys over there just sitting in one spot so let's see here is it gonna be worth going to a different spot i think it might be or may not be i do not know Checking on these two people. And I've got my, my wallet, so that means if he comes over here, I'm good. But I think that'll be like a 10 20 minute process to get over here, to be real honest. That drag definitely seems like it helps with bigger weights. Oh man. Alright, so there's that. Yeah, Alright, like 20 two-ish minutes so you know what guys i think i might just end it here i know this wasn't probably the most entertaining video let me get it off the stand here let me see there we go this probably wasn't the most entertaining video but hopefully you guys liked it um hopefully see you guys in the next one and like and subscribe guys